everybody welcome back to my channel for those who are new to my channel i'm key this is keys playing life so it is that time again where we sit down and we go over february's budget what that's going to look like but we're going to also go over february's first paycheck as well just to see how those funds were allocated um so yeah let's get into it because i don't want this to be a long video because my husband just finished cooking and i want to go eat <laughs> so all right, so you'll see everything either on this side of the screen or this side of the screen. Um, so our budget for February is $4,114. Our extra expected income is $0. And our total bills and expenses was $2,626. Now, for the most part, um, I feel really good about this month. Um, and I'm going to tell you why I feel good about this month in a minute. So I want to run, give you a rundown of the bills and expenses and things like that. So our rent is 978. It does go up in March to $1,001. Um, just energy is $101, but I have it at 102 because I always round it off. Xfinity mobile is 339. Xfinity internet is 71. Center point is 56. Canva is 14. Car insurance is 219. But somehow my um credit cards got my debit cards got mixed up and they deducted from the wrong debit card and I had to wait till it stopped pending for them to rerun my car. So I do have a um return check fee on there. So all together it's actually going to be $339 as well um let's oh and the cell phone bill actually let me go in there when y'all see this it'll already be changed but i'm going to change it it was actually 377 dollars to be exact the car insurance was 339 dollars i'm gonna change that but y'all will see it y'all will see y'all won't see that it would needed to be changed but y'all will see what it is um capital one credit cards 25 capital one silver 25 capital one savor 25 mission lane 25 youtube 22 it was and i hate that because it was i was paying 1081 a month on youtube but it went up because i'm no longer a student but i love the youtube premium red because i listen to my music on it so it don't have commercials but i think because i'm paying amazon prime I'm not even finna care, but no, because I watch videos and I don't like no commercials in my videos. Um, so I think I might stick to the premium. Um, household supplies, $50. Vacation, $75. Cash app, $300. Afterpay, $200. Nails, $100. We're going to strike out the nails and I'm going to tell explain that to you as well in a minute also. So to do, on the to-do list... We had, I have to order the mics because me and hubby are thinking about starting a podcast. And even if we don't, I feel like I need the mics just for my filming. Um, pay on after pay, which I have done. Put something on vacation. And the goal is to save, do minimal eating out, and do low buys only. My savings fund. If y'all see me looking down, I'm looking at my, what y'all, I'm looking at what you guys are looking at actually. My savings fund. So for this month, for my household, I plan to save $100. For personal savings, I plan to spend, save $366. For rainy day, I plan on saving $296. For Christmas, I plan on saving $50. That is a total of $812. If you're asking why the rainy day is um, lower than the personal, that's because I am saving for a certain goal on my personal and with the rainy day, it's not such an emergency that it has to be taken care of right now. But this goal has a completion date that it has to be done. So, okay. So, like I said, the nails I was taking off and I was going to explain to you guys why. So, I had my daughter. I'm trying to um, support my daughter in her savings. So, she is saving for, saving for a car. And I told her that in eight months, if she follows my plan she can save up to six thousand dollars and get her cash card and be done so 
you know, when you're trying to attain certain goals, sometimes you have to give certain things up. So she's having to give up um, going to the hair salon or going to the nail shop to get her nails done. Her feet she could still get done because she worked her budget and she it, that allows her to go get her feet done still because it's, it's a monthly thing and not an every two week thing. Which her nails were monthly things too, but you know. Um, so my nails typically cost between $150, $175. I have decided to, you know, lead by example and give that up. So I will be doing my own nails. I'm going to try to do my own feet. I'm going to try. I got all the things you need to do your own feet. So I feel like I can do it if I just be patient and pick a day, which is on Sundays because that's self-care Sunday. Pick a day and just do something for me. I feel like I can accomplish it. So I will be doing my own nails from now on and my own feet from now on until I reach my goal. Now, outside of us doing this chat, doing this uh, goal and doing this challenge, um, we're still going to be able to do things for ourselves. But like you, like I said, there's going to be low buys. And really, I won't be really buying anything this month for myself personally because I have buku birthdays coming up. I have two daughters' birthdays coming up. I have my mother-in-law's birthday coming up. I have my husband's birthday coming up all in a two-month span. And I don't do... Uh, I have plans on how I want to buy their gifts. So, I have to focus on that. Um, and also, by the time y'all see this, Valentine's still wouldn't have passed. Um, I planned some things for Valentine's Day, some in-house things, because we are not going out on Valentine's Day, because we are not gonna pay those valentine's day prices you know although we do spend money when we go out to eat we not stupid neither <laughs> so we will be staying in and just having a romantic night at home i think that's better i bought some stuff from um, amazon where we can sit sip and paint so i'm gonna go pick up some wine i bought the decorations and stuff we're gonna cook paint and watch movies and chill at home and love on each other at home so, I'd rather do that anyway, considering the fact that Valentine's Day is during the week. And when we get off of work, we're not trying to go nowhere. No way. So, I'm okay with staying, staying home. So, yeah. Um, there's not going to be very much spending this month. Because I am trying to be an example to my daughter and show her that you can get what you want. And you can meet your goals if you practice discipline. So, we're practicing discipline in our spending. And we're... Um, not doing things that we would normally do as far as me going to the nail. Oh, I miss my nails, but <laughs> I have to be that example for her. So I'm going to do that. Um, because I really want her first car. I want her to see the benefits of having her first car. So let's do this paycheck breakdown. So for February, the first paycheck in February, we have $2,491. The expenses totaled up to $2,150. The savings totaled up to $331. So the rent was $978. After pay, I paid $106. Capital One, I paid $35. Although it was $25, I paid an extra, extra five, $10. Um, Capital One Silver, $25. Savoir. 25 mission lane 25 apple products 50 myself 342 dollars um you probably like why 342 dollars let me explain <laughs> so my mom sent me some money for my birthday as well and because she asked me what i wanted for my birthday and i told her for my office i wanted a rug and a, and a um, table to go in between my two chairs so she sent me the money for that and i ordered my stuff for my birthday um, car insurance, um, as you guys know, that was $239, and rainy day, we put up $148, personal, we put up $183, I also put up an additional $40 with that, um, lights, $102, cash at $150, Christmas savings, $25, cell phone, it was $377, and the gas bill was $56, sure i got the i go in there sometimes and correct as we go um let's see what else so far for our 
to-do list. The one thing I can say we checked off the list this time was the bedroom rug. I finally got a bedroom rug. I'm really happy about that. So we're almost done with the list of things that I had to do. Um, I still need to get a suitcase. I still need to get a bathroom rug. I still need to get new pillows. I need to get new silverware. I need to look for a dining room table and wallpaper for bathroom. I bought one row because I think all I might need is one row. But if I need an additional row, I'll get it. But that additional row is going to be a stretch because that's the... Um, powder room it's not even a big bathroom so I think only because I already have a row in there that I put up and we're supposed to be trying to finish it this weekend so I don't think I'm gonna need a bunch of wallpaper so I may be able to check that off this weekend um let's see what else um as you can see the credit card breakdown I paid those this month so so the regular capital one was 190 I got it down to 102 so it is 102 right now 102.25 um the silver was is a uh, 140.83 the Savoir is 223 and Mission Lane is 556 so um hopefully I will have the regular Capital One I will have that down by to be honest, I don't, I don't, probably by the end of March, I should have that one down because that's the goal that is the end game. I'm actually going in here and editing this so y'all can get it, get the numbers, how y'all supposed to get the numbers because I hate when my numbers are off. Okay. All right. I think that's about it. I want to make sure we went over everything for this month so far. Um, I am doing my rainy day challenges and my personal account challenges. I am still doing um, the fives and ones challenge. I haven't really had been spending no money, so I can't really tell y'all how that <laughs> looks because I haven't had to do any transfers since January. Um, I don't think I spent any money today. Let me see. I think the only thing I transferred today was 60 cent. So I will mark that. But that's not a fi that's not the fives and ones. So I don't feel like I have to mark that. That was just change left over. I like even numbers. So it was just change left over. So I won't put that on there because there was no fives and ones. But yeah, that is it. Um, Y'all see the goals we have set for um, this month as far as saving money. Um... I don't really think we'll, like I said, I don't really think we'll be doing much for the month of February just because I have too many birthdays that I have to get ready for and I'm not a last minute person. So although two of their birthdays are in April and one is in March, I, I like to start buying their, I like to start getting stuff before time so I won't have to rush my brain to get it um, all at once. So it just works better for me. So the next time we come back, we will be doing the last paycheck of February. This month is going by fast. It is already the ninth. Um, by the time y'all see this, you will see this video. It will be the 11th. But we're, I feel like we are on a good start for the month of February. So I'm really proud of that. I have been sticking to my savings goals as of lately. Um, I've been really like on it as far as saving so i'm gonna get out of here remember to think smart spend smarter and have fun planning it all out and i'm key this is keys playing life and i will see you guys in the next video bye